it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite parts of wash day which has to be deep conditioning my hair. Now you know I love giving my hair the TLC it needs and deserves to thrive and I know you hear me saying that all the time and it's absolutely true. Just really give your hair that tender love and care and it will love you back. It will be a lot more manageable, a lot more cooperative, able to retain moisture a lot better, your styles are going to last a lot longer, that definition is going to be on point. Just trust me, you give your hair that TLC and it will definitely behave. Now deep conditioning definitely has to be on my top three tips to get your curls popping, to get that elasticity going, and really to help maintain that moisture. Wash day is setting the precedent on how my styles are going to last. I always talk about just make sure you have good products on wash day so when you go into styling your hair it's just so much easier, your hair is softer, more manageable. Deep conditioners are really going to get your hair's integrity and help up to par. I'm telling you deep conditioners are a life if you deep condition already then you know but if you don't you are truly missing out and I'm also saying that it starts with the wash day and I truly believe healthy hair really starts with how you wash your hair you style and take care of your hair throughout the week because all of this combined is really going to make up for healthy hair overall now I've been doing my hair ever since I was six years old so I have experimented with different styles cuts colors pressing my hair relaxing my hair and I have been natural ever since the end of 2004 14, and I have never looked back. I just love the versatility and the overall volume, the health that I get from my natural hair. I'm gonna tell you my top favorite 11 deep conditioners because I couldn't quite narrow it down to 10. But all these deep conditioners right here get my curls clumped together, popping and so healthy, so quick. I just had to share them with you. So without further ado, let's just get right into the deep conditioners. <laughs> Now these deep conditioners are in no particular order. I love all of them about the same, some a little bit more than others. Now I'm going to start with this one right here from Soapbox Soaps. This is their Coconut Oil Rejuvenating Deep Conditioner. Now let me tell you, this deep conditioner is so, so good. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like toasted almond, coconut, and vanilla. Mm, and I know it has fatty acids in it and it just glides into my hair strands. It claims right here on the label that it's gonna help revive lifeless damaged hair to healthy and hydrated with the nourishing properties of coconut oil. So yes, this has coconut oil in it. This is definitely one of my favorite, I'll say top five deep conditioners because I love the way it smells. It smells sweet, but it's not like a lingering sweet scent. The consistency is pretty thick. Yeah, she's thick. She is not going anywhere and I find a lot of times with thick, dense. Because not all thick, deep conditioners penetrate into my hair the same. I learned that the hard way. I thought all thick, deep conditioners were going to really get my curls popping and clumped together. But some of them just sat on top of my hair strands. That's how you know a product is not good for you. But it definitely has my hair feeling very hydrated, nourished, conditioned, all the above. Every deep conditioner that I do apply to my hair, I put a plastic cap on. Sometimes, very rarely, will I sit under a hooded dryer now. If you sit under a hooded dryer with a deep conditioner in or you leave it on for like 30 minutes to an hour, you'll definitely see some good benefits. But I'm always washing my hair in the shower and my hair feels amazing. And applying this deep conditioner at the end of wash day, just adds that cherry right on top of the cake. I love this deep conditioner. It is definitely worth a try. Now my next favorite deep conditioner has to be from TGIN, which stands for Thank God I'm Natural, and I absolutely love that. I love TGIN, they're definitely one of my favorite brands, especially this line, their Honey line. Every single product in this collection works so good in my hair, but this Honey Miracle Hair Mask, it definitely gives me that deep, nourishment and moisture that my hair is craving. Anytime that I feel my hair is a little bit on the dry side, especially during winter and my hair is out, I will use this at least once a month because it is so good. And also this mask, it smells so good. It smells really sweet, almost, mm, like I can smell honey, almost like a honeysuckle and a little bit of like a floral-esque to it. This mask contains raw honey and olive oil, which are two ingredients that work great in my hair. And I would highly recommend to choose ingredients and products that do work great in your hair. So for me, I know that coconut works really good. Also olive oil, honey works great in my hair. And I opt to choose a lot of those products because about eight times out of 10, if I'm choosing a new product and it does contain those ingredients that I know my hair loves, it's gonna work in my hair. But when it comes down to deep conditioners, 
Honey and a deep conditioner work so good in my hair. Also oils, they just help with that moisture retention. And it also reads on the label that it's an intense, deep, penetrating conditioner for dry, damaged, and color-treated hair. So no, my hair is not dry, not damaged, or color-treated. However, I have found that choosing products that are aimed for dry, damaged, and color-treated hair are very beneficial for our natural hair because if we don't really give our hair that TLC, our hair is more prone to being dry and damaged and breaking off and brittle. We just don't wanna go down that road. But if we do choose products that are aimed for color treated hair, dry or damaged hair, then we can be more proactive and help prevent that from occurring. I just find that using products like this, especially during winter, or if I feel like my hair is just a little on the dry side because I haven't washed it in over a week or I haven't really been on top of it because now with what has been going on, I'm definitely more of a mom than an entrepreneur, but nonetheless, I have to take care of myself, but my children have been coming first, but I definitely recommend this mask, especially if your hair is on the dry side. This mask is so so, so good. My next favorite deep conditioner has to be this one from Eden Body Works. This is their natural deep conditioner with jojoba manoi. This deep conditioner is amazing. It reminds me of going to a spa, like something really clean. It really melts and penetrates into my hair strands, gets those curls clumped together, gets them popping, and definitely provides a lot of moisture. Every single time that I'm on the fence about a product, if I should choose it, like say I'm reviewing a new shampoo or a conditioner or I'm trying it out for myself, I will definitely use this deep conditioner because it gives me so much moisture and I already know that it's capable of clumping my curls together on its own. So I don't have to be dependent on having a good shampoo and a good conditioner. This deep conditioner gets my curls together every single time. I just love the way it feels in my hair. It reads back here on the label that it is formulated with coconut jojoba and manoi to replenish hair strength and restore hair's natural beauty from over processing, damage, and dryness. Fortified to balance the hair's moisture levels, resulting in stronger, healthier, more manageable hair. Excellent deep conditioner for all hair textures and types. So I'll definitely agree because so many of you out there that have low porosity, high porosity, medium porosity, very kinky, curly, wavy, coarse hair, you use this and you say that you love this. So this is definitely a favorite amongst so many of us naturals. I absolutely love this deep conditioner very much. Now my next favorite deep conditioner has to be this one from Weedad. This is their Meltdown Extreme Repair Mask for dry, damaged textures. Now let me tell you, I first found out about this deep conditioner, I'll say about four or five years ago. So I did the big chop. That's how I transitioned from my hair being in the state that it was in to fully natural 2014. I had enough. I was in between for a little bit, but I was like, I'm tired of this. Let me just do the big chop. Just get rid of all that straggly ends. And my hair was so long. It was about a little bit longer than waist length. And my hair, it just didn't look as healthy as I knew it could because I was experimenting with color and flat ironing my hair. It just wasn't appealing to me anymore. So I did the big chop and I also put some color in my hair. And the lady that colored my hair, she has her own salon. Her name is Crystal, and her salon's name is Salon Crystal. Now she is a amazing. She is going to make sure that you are happy and that's what I love about her. Anyway, I got my color and then she toned it up a notch because I did want my hair to be brighter but because of that I did have a few areas that weren't really curling as much. It was just I don't know, when I did my wash and goes it's like a few curls weren't curling right and I used this in my hair oh my gosh like two times after I used this the curls were really curling they were definitely getting back in shape back in formation because I was looking for a treatment something to help with my curls I just wanted them to pop when I did a wash and go but I later found out that I definitely have to give my hair more TLC because it had been color treated at that point even now if I need just a little bit of pick me up and I feel that my hair has enough moisture and I have protein but I just need a little bit more of an umph and I really get that deep 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 conditioning treatment I will use this this is amazing you don't have to leave it in your hair so long I believe it's like 10 minutes that's how long I leave it in my hair 
yeah 10 to 15 minutes and rinse it really gets those curls clump together it helps to restore his hair's protective moisture barrier to leave curls soft and help prevent future damage i'll definitely agree because when i use this i'll notice once i put my cotton t-shirt on and i take it off my curls are really clumped together before i style my hair even after 30 minutes because I do have to make sure my children are good every single time I wash my hair then I go to styling my hair I do have about a 30 minute to an hour break before I style so just keep that in mind but every single time I go to style my hair my hair still looks good it's not dried out it's not frizzy it still has that nice curl definition I really love it and it also has their CR4 repair complex with mafro butter and Kalahari melon seed oil cushions each strands with fatty acids to rebuild nourish and protect this hair mask is amazing. If you just feel that your curls aren't performing like they should or you still have damage in your hair, like you're still transitioning and you just want that elasticity, definitely try this mask. It is on the pricey side, but I definitely feel that it is worth it, even if you wanna use it once a month, twice a month, and I don't have to use a lot. I do have a lot of hair, my hair's thick, but this penetrates into my hair strands, and that CR4 complex gets my curls together. I'm telling you, this mask changed my hair Back when I colored it, even after the big chop, it really got that section <laughs> together. This is definitely a game changer. If you need a mask to get those curls back in shape, this is definitely one for you. Now my next favorite deep conditioner has to be from And Honey. This is their deep moist treatment. Now I love this so much. I actually did a video I will link right here in the iCards. This is a Japanese owned brand. I did get it from this store, Riley Rose, and I love it. I did do a video, some people thought it was a sponsored video because I kept raving and saying how much I loved it. It wasn't sponsored, I just went into Riley Rose, which is a very girly store. It's like a mix of Forever 21, Home Goods, with a little bit of candy like it's really nice I think that they are just operating online now and it also smells so good it smells like honey and like lychee so if you don't know lychee is a fruit and I absolutely love the lychee candies also lychee bubble teas oh my gosh I love bubble teas I love a lot of the Asian cuisine it just smells like happiness and they also have honey like I said honey is an ingredient known to help with moisture retention in your hair they do have different honeys like honey from New Zealand the Manuka honey also Hungarian acai honey raw Japanese honey and reading the back label here it says fusing organic Organic and hydrating ingredients for a moisture sustaining organic formulation also 90% of ingredients are deep replenishing ingredients that is very key to note it has argon oil honey royal jelly propolis golden silk my hair it felt so smooth and silky with the shampoo and after rinsing this deep conditioner out I think that that's what I really felt. It just made a difference in my hair, that golden silk. My hair, it felt very silky, very smooth, very moisturized, very hydrated. Also, it has hyaluronic acid, and hyaluronic acid is very good just to help keep that moisture retention going. So I use a lot of hyaluronic acid in my skincare ingredients because I want to retain that moisture level in my skin. I do not want my skin drying out because dry skin can cause texture and wrinkles. And I'm currently 31 with four children and they definitely keep me going. I just really want to preserve this youthfulness that I have going. Also, it's free of sulfate, mineral oil, synthetic dyes, propylene glycol, parabens, silicones, additives, no animal testing, I love that. And it has 100% organic Moroccan oil. I mean, there's so many great ingredients in here. I know that there was a comment in that video last year that it said it has something in there. I can't remember, but nonetheless, this is so good. I just love the way my hair feels as I'm raking it in my hair with my fingers. Also, when I rinse this out, that's also important to note. So you don't want products just to feel good, like shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, or even a pre-shampoo treatment to feel good. And then when you rinse it out of your hair, your hair feels dry, brittle, mushy, just gross I have definitely experienced that a few times now before I'll say some of it could have been because I applied too much moisture in my hair or I applied too much protein in my hair but now that I've learned what products work good together even if it's from different lines because I do mix lines together all the time and I have found that you just have to keep a nice balance so I can't put too much moisture in my hair or too much protein in my hair so all the products that I use on wash day even from styling my hair I make sure that it has a really good balance so I 
I don't experience a moisture overload or protein overload or just an imbalance of products. I really find keeping products and their ingredients working together really helps the overall integrity of your hair. But this deep conditioner is definitely a must have, especially if honey works great in your hair. My next favorite deep conditioner isn't this one, but it's from this line. This is the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil line. All the products from this line work amazing in my hair, but this really adds that moisture in my hair. Every single time that I use it, I am never, ever disappointed. This is another, well, <laughs> the mask from this collection is another deep conditioner I can really count on no matter what my hair is going through. If I notice that my hair is feeling just a little bit dry or I just did a protective style because I have really been into doing protective styles lately. It just really penetrates right into my hair strand. It goes right in. I have no problem at all. Really gets my curls clumped together. It gets them popping. My hair is soft. It feels so hydrated and it does smell really good. It has like a sweet coconutty scent, almost like a fragrance but not too overbearing it definitely has like more of a feminine coconut scent and I do like it it smells really good a lot of the Shea Moisture lines I mean I know that they have a thousand lines but this is definitely one of my favorite lines from Shea Moisture especially when I need moisture retention in my hair it's amazing. Now my next favorite deep conditioner has to be from Uncle Funky's Daughter. And Uncle Funky's Daughter is another brand that I absolutely love. They have amazing products that work great in my hair. This is their Hail and Renew Intensive Hair Mask. It definitely has a bit of moisture and protein. And I feel that it gives me that perfect balance. I really love it. It says that it's for natural, chemically treated, or heat styled hair. So I don't heat style or chemically treat my hair, but I'm definitely natural and I find that, again, Products that do mention or claim that they're for chemically treated, heat styled, or even if your hair is dry, damaged, those products with those type of claims typically work great on my hair versus the ones that are just for curly or wavy hair. I need that extra TLC in my hair. Another reason why I do like it because it does have great ingredients like aloe in there, also glycerin, which works really good in my hair just to help keep that moisture in. It has baobab oil, avocado oil. Also, it helps to hydrate and detangle the hair. Now, my hair doesn't really get tangled because of my techniques from combing in products all the time and also the products that I do use. I just find that my hair is a lot more manageable this way. And I just love products that help to hydrate my hair that actually penetrate into the hair strands and don't just sit on top it makes a big difference I just really love that it helps revitalize the hair it helps to repair split ends replenish moisture and help to reduce breakage so I would definitely recommend this deep conditioner it has a perfect balance of moisture and protein in the hair so if you feel like you're in between you don't really know if you need a little bit more moisture a little bit more protein but you don't know this would be a great deep conditioner for you to use. My next favorite deep conditioner isn't this one, but it's from this brand, Pure Zero. It is their Biotin Strengthening Mask. It is amazing. It does have protein in it, but I've noticed certain proteins react differently to my hair and also everyone else's hair. It definitely helps to strengthen my hair. So anytime that I feel my hair, it just needs a little bit of a pick me up, especially if I'm going from a protective style and I'm washing my hair, because a lot of times when I do have a protective style in, I like to wear it for a week up to two weeks and I definitely need my hair to be nice and balanced. I want my hair to be strong and this deep conditioner works so good it gets those curls clumped together popping the elasticity is there a lot of times I've noticed that I do get a lot of questions about elasticity and many naturals they don't know that maybe that's what it's called because they say the curls aren't bouncing or they're not popping and clumping together it's elasticity that is helping bring the curls out just bring that overall healthiness and it just looks so good you want your hair to bounce back up and that is a great sign of healthy hair giving your hair that TLC I keep saying it I cannot stress it enough I use the WLOS method which stands for water leave-in conditioner and oil and styler in that order and I find that I'm able to retain moisture a lot better and also repeatedly doing this process it allows for my hair to just take hold of any style that I'm doing. So my twist outs look really good, my braid outs look really good, and they're also able to last for a while. You really don't want your hair to dry out because it's more prone to becoming brittle and then it'll break off a lot easier. Also, you have a lot of split ends or the fairy knots, it just won't feel good, it's not good. So just be proactive and really take care of your hair. But the Pure Zero Biotin Strengthening Mask is definitely an absolute must have if you really want your hair to 
you know, really be strong and resilient. That is the word that I have to use, resilience. This mask is so good. It's really protecting my hair for the long run, and I think it's very affordable. Right now, I'm looking on Target's website, and it's $6. This line, I noticed it is very affordable and it works great. I would definitely recommend to try it if you just want your hair to be more resilient. My next favorite deep conditioner has to be this one from Camille Rose, and Camille Rose is another line I really love because their products work amazing in my hair. This is their Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask. It has cocoa and mango butter in it. This mask is very good and one of my staple masks I have always been using ever since I returned natural years ago. This, mm, it has like a minty cocoa scent to it, almost like a mint chocolate, but it's not overbearing at all. I really love it. It just smells good, it works great in my hair, and it has great ingredients. Also, it's free of parabens and phthalates, which is really good because I wanna keep a lot of bad, harmful ingredients out of my body, my hair, my skin, internally, externally. Now, I'm not saying 100%. I wanna be vigilant, but definitely keep it down to a minimum. I just choose a lot of products that are really good. And also here on the back, it claims that this is a decadent vitamin pack treatment infused with botanical blue-green algae and emollient mango butter crafted to prevent strands from breaking, shedding, and thinning. And I'll definitely agree with this there was many times that I have suffered from postpartum hair loss but with my third son I really noticed I lost a lot of hair this was a mask that I did use three years ago four years ago five years ago because it does work really good in my hair this is definitely a favorite deep conditioning mask of mine my next favorite deep conditioner has to be this one from Mish I absolutely love it. Now the owner reached out to me and she gifted me the whole line and I was so thankful because I love supporting black women because I'm a black woman entrepreneur and also she is a black woman entrepreneur. Now I'll definitely say that protein deep conditioner is obviously one of my favorites. They do have a moisturizing deep conditioner and I wasn't really a fan of that one, but this one worked so good in my hair. It really got my curls clumped together. And by the way, this is their Strengthen Protein Deep Conditioner made with baobab protein and mango butter. Again, not all proteins work the same. Some proteins just make my hair feel brittle, frizzy, and not so good. But some proteins, like this one and the other deep conditioners that I've mentioned, that do have protein work very good in my hair. And this is definitely one. It smells really good, too. I'm a little bit big on scent, if you can't tell. It smells like candy. I have about one more time to use it, but I really like it. I believe I've used it three times already, so it's very concentrated, and products that are concentrated are very important for me because I wanna get my money's worth. I don't wanna use a product, say, like this size and only get two uses out of it because then it's like, I'm not really getting my money's worth. Just like the Wee Dad hair mask, even though it's $44, I'm able to get about five uses out of it. So that's almost $9 a use. So I tend to think of products in that way. How many uses am I able to get out of it? Because there are products that are more affordable, but they're not really concentrated. So I may get one or two uses out of it. So then I think, is it really that affordable if I'm getting a product from the drugstore that's 12 13, 14 dollars, but I can only get one and a half use out of it. Mm, you know, it's like on the same level of another product that I could get multiple uses out of because it is more concentrated and I don't need that much. So that's really what I value. I am willing to spend the money if it's really gonna make a difference in the overall health of my hair versus not. It helps to strengthen my hair and I noticed a huge difference. I think I used it one week and then I used it the following week and I noticed that it really strengthened my hair. It does have a good amount of protein, but this mask right here the protein deep conditioner works really good in my which brings me to my next favorite deep conditioner by shea moisture this is their manuka honey and yogurt hydrate and repair protein power treatment with mafro and baobab oils shea moisture always has those lengthy product titles names all of that, but their products work so good in my hair. You'll see if you look in my hair bookshelf, I have a lot of Shea Moisture products, and that's why I find that their products work really good in my hair, especially this one and the coconut oil line. And it mentions that it strengthen and protect extremely dry, brittle hair. Again, my hair is not dry, it's not brittle, but I find that products that do claim they're good for extremely dry, dry, color-treated, damaged hair 
work really good because they have those extra nourishing and conditioning ingredients in them that are really going to cater to our natural hair. This mask, oh my gosh, the first time I used it, I fell in love. I believe it was about like two years ago. And back then, Shea Moisture gifted me the whole collection. I love this deep conditioner. Every single time that I use everything all together, I noticed that my curls are so defined with no product in it. Like, my curls look really good. They're really defined, moisturized, strong. The elasticity is there when I use this whole line all together. Like, I do a good pre-poo. I use the shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioner from this line. It has Manuka Honey, another ingredient I know I love. It helps to provide moisture and boost shine. So I love when my hair has that nice sheen to it. Also, it has the yogurt extract. So it helps to add nourishing moisture to your hair, which we all love. And also the Mafro Oil. So this damage control formula with natural Mafro Oil softens and promotes healthy looking hair. So that's very good to have healthy looking hair, but you also want your hair to be healthy. Just make sure that you give your hair that special attention and it will definitely behave is another deep conditioner that I like to use if I'm unsure if I really want to add a lot of moisture or protein to my hair because sometimes I want to add both but I don't know if I should lean more towards moisture because that's very good for my hair but at the same time I need a little bit of protein to add that strength and resilience to my hair. This is Definitely a great mask to add both to your hair. It really helps to strengthen the hair overall. The leave-in conditioner is definitely one of my favorite leave-ins, which I will be making another video in the future about my favorite leave-ins. So make sure you stay tuned to know when those come. This is definitely a must-have if you want that nice balance of moisture and protein. So I know that that was a lot of deep conditioners and hair masks, but I definitely wanted to share them with you because deep conditioning is so, so, so important. Definitely one of my top three tips that I can give you if you notice that your hair is just isn't acting right, it's not really manageable, that you notice that your hair is getting tangled. By the way, please trim your hair if you notice that your hair is just increasingly getting tangled all the time no matter what you're doing. That could be a huge indication that you need a trim, but deep conditioning is life. If you're not deep conditioning, what are you doing? Make sure that you do deep condition your hair at least once a week. That is my tip for you. If you take nothing else from this video, just make sure that you do deep condition your hair at least once a week. I want all of us to win. I want all of our hair to be flourishing and just radiant. And all these deep conditioners are amazing. Whether you're protein sensitive or not, there are options for you in this lineup. Always, always, always give me great results every single time. And also, comment down below in the comment box the comment section down below. What are some of your favorite deep conditioners? I would love to read them because I just really love seeing and trying new products. Many of you recommend one of my favorite beauty products to date, the African Pride Pre-Shampoo Treatment. I love it. Thank you so much to the few of you that kept recommending for me to try it because I absolutely love it. But I know that this video is long enough already. I won't hold you any longer and I'll see you in my next video. Take care and be safe. Bye.